Okay. Okay, hello. This is Dr. James, and this is the uh, Honda Insight Hybrid. And uh, today, I'm going to talk about how to uh, disable the battery. If you're having a, <coughs> a battery with an IMA problem, it means uh, all the cells aren't charging equally. And uh, if you continue to run the car, it could damage the, the batteries. And uh, I last time I had a problem with it, it actually was causing such a severe problem that it wasn't charging the car battery up in the front and it was preventing the car from starting because the, uh, the IMA, the uh, uh, motor assist, is actually the alternator in this car. There is no alternator, it's just the same motor that uh, gives you an assist when you're uh, accelerating and recharges the when the wheels break uh, is also used as the alternator and it charges both the IMA battery and your your battery for starting the car. And if that battery up there gets charged down, there's a lot of problems. So I'm going to show you how to disable the battery. Okay. Let's uh, check out the operation of this car. Here we go. We'll put the keys in. Hold the clutch in. If you look up here, we have the engine light on over here, and uh, the uh, IMA light is on, and the battery is completely depleted. I was driving the other day, and it just completely depleted the battery, and uh, this is the charge, where it would normally charge the battery, it would come up green, and it stopped charging. So it appears that there is some kind of problem with the the inertial uh, uh, battery in the back of the car, the uh, hybrid battery, and so we'll go check on that. The battery is back here, and uh, gotta pop the trunk. And we will come around and take a look in the back. Okay, so here is the back of the car, and uh, if we look inside, there is uh, this carpeting in here, and what we want to do is we want to just come on, kind of come in here and just kind of pull up on this, pull the carpeting out, okay. Carpeting here. Okay, and we'll set it over here. Okay, so there's the carpeting. And there's also kind of a little foam thing that goes over the spare tire. And we'll kind of pull that guy out. And we'll set him aside. And take a look inside of here. Okay, so there's where the spare tire is under here. Covered up by this little piece of plastic. And then, uh, what does this say here? This says, uh, warning high voltage. Okay. So, you can be killed or hurt. Do not remove this cover. No customer service parts inside. So that's exactly what we're going to do. 144 volts. Now remember, anything above 60 volts, it goes through one hand, through your heart, and out the other, it will kill you. So be very careful when dealing with high voltage. Okay, so this is where the battery is located, the IMA unit. Okay, so here's where the uh, cover is for the battery pack, and it looks like it has a whole bunch of bolts we got to take apart. So let's just start taking stuff apart and see what happens. Now these these bolts here seem to be uh, 10 millimeter, so I, I got a 10 millimeter ratchet here, and we'll just start taking these things apart. Get on loosen, of course. We'll 
take off this thing first. Hopefully nothing falls down inside. But we're going to take this all apart anyway, so let's see what's under here. Okay. doesn't seem to want to come apart. It's got some kind of gasket sealing it, so... Okay, so here's the back of our battery. Now, I was a little bit reluctant to take these things off before because it's got some kind of sealing thing here, but I uh, removed the two bolts, pull it off, and it looks like there is a circuit breaker under there. That circuit breaker, I believe, is a circuit breaker that turns the battery on and off. It disconnects it. So, let's try flipping that thing off and see what happens. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, so this circuit breaker has like a little... Let's, let's move the camera up here a little bit more so we can see down there. Okay. Okay, so here is the fuse switch that disconnects the battery, and there's a little red thing over the top of it, so you actually have to pull this up. You can pull this off and remove that. I don't know if you can see that okay. So it's a little red thing that prevents you from pulling the circuit breaker down. Now we can flip it off. And I guess so we don't lose it, we could stick it back on upside down to kind of lock the thing out. Okay? And now you want to do that before you open up the batteries and try to work on them because this is very dangerous and you don't want to get electrocuted. And uh, so this is the way you can flip off the batteries if they're starting to act up and you don't want to damage them even more while you're driving. Okay, let's try starting her up again now that we've disabled the IMU. And... Get out our key. And... Plug her in. Okay, one thing I noticed, it does seem to start a little bit rougher without the IMU hooked up. Or IMA. But, um... The internet says that uh, there's a risk of damaging the batteries if we uh, just let it run with the uh, IMA not working properly. So, the car does start. And it seems to run okay. And so we'll try to fix the IMA as, as quickly as possible so that we can uh, get this thing back to normal. Okay, anyway, this is Dr. Janes. Thanks for watching.